Tanner Dice with St Johnston goalkeeper Andy Rhodes called into action to make a double save in the sixth minute. First he beats out Brian Welsh's effort, then has to look sharp to prevent Sean McCauley from putting the ball into his own net. United took the lead in 12 minutes. John O'Neill was the architect, intercepting a pass before setting up Paddy Connolly to score. Alan Main was in form at the other end, thwarting Paul Wright before calling on the assistance of Brian Welch to make a saving tackle on Alan Moore from the rebound. Having given the ball away for the first goal, you'd have thought Saints would have learned the lesson, but they hadn't. Sergei Baltaccio was caught out, Paddy Connolly beat Rhodes but hit the post, and it was left to John O'Neill to hit home Grant Johnson's cross. St Johnston were making it hard for themselves, but they weren't enjoying much luck either. Gunny Torfeson might have expected to get more from that free kick, but Main and the crossbar conspired against him. United face Rangers in the Skull Cup in midweek, and they'll do so without the services of Duncan Ferguson. The young striker got involved in a fracas with John Ingalls. Ingalls was booked. Ferguson was sent off. Alan Moore was next to go in mysterious circumstances to say the least. Denied a penalty, Moore gives full vent to his feelings and referee Jim Renton decides to take action. No card was shown and it looks as if the game's about to restart but Moore's been booked already. So after a pause for thought, Renton produces the red card. With four minutes to go, Saints pulled the goal back. Paul Wright crossing for Gooney Torfeson to head home, but the points stayed at Tanadice.